holy shit, Crossover Souls was actually just a terrible set. Um, you know, we've, we've talked about that it was a decent set. We thought it was going to be okay. Um, Jar of Avarice is like a $35 card on sneak peek prices. Now, that's ridiculous because sneak peek prices are usually through the roof. Um, so for a card like that to only be where it is is kind of ridiculous in my personal opinion. Uh, the ghost rabbit in the hair is 55 coming out of Sneak Peek Weekend. Um, you know, these card prices are going to drop. Um, ghost hair might only be a $30 card. Um, it's definitely interesting, though, because you always hear people say, you know, Sneak Peek prices are ridiculously high. Yes, normally they are. But these are semi-normal prices. Um, a little bit more realistically to what I would personally expect. Um, you know, to the guys that were paying 15 bucks a piece on Oracle of Zephra on sneak peek prices. Thank you. Um, you know, the ultra rare fusion spell for Burning Abyss? $7. <laughs> sneak peek weekend. Um, that, th it's bad because these card prices are going to go down. If sneak peek prices are semi-realistic to what you would actually want to invest in, then you can pretty much tell that the set's going to be booty butt cheeks. And it, it's a sad thing to say that, because I was actually hoping for a semi-decent set, but the only thing this set does is just gives us the ghost that actually is decent. And then, you know, Jar of Avarice will probably just be shoved underneath the rug, pretty much with everything else in the set. So... Yeah, pretty big disappointment. So if you guys invested in sneak peek stuff, um, pretty much like me, you probably cried. You either lost money or you made like five bucks. Because there was nothing phenomenal in this set. Um, like I said, I mean, next set we're going to get the solemn scales of bullshittery and other things like that. Uh, so we'll have to, you know, see how things, I guess, roll it out here. Um, this is the last core set before Nationals. Um, most of the UA shit in the set's garbage. Um, doesn't do anything else for the deck. I mean, yeah, the deck's slowly, I guess, getting there, but they need another level four to really, in my opinion, get where they need to be. So, I guess we'll have to just wait and see. Um, give things time. I mean, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! So, anyway, guys, leave a comment down below. Um, tell me about your Crossover Souls um, experiences with the set. Um, like I said, this was actually one of the very few sneak peeks that things were semi-realistic coming out of the floodgate. Um, and, you know, things are just going to bottom out from here. So, buying boxes for, you know, what they're worth just seems like you're going to go mad nag. So, cheers, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out VanCole40 for Cardfight Vanguard. M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.